Hi, this is Vincent from EV Europe. Right now I'm sitting in a Tesla Roadster, which is already a very cool car, because it was the first real electric car made by Tesla. That was a real game changer. Um, but we did something special with it. So here at EV Europe, normally our focus is on the design and development of all kinds of parts that are used for electrification of vehicles, of boats, of machines. Um, and over the last years we got a lot of worried Tesla Roadster owners on the phone because they were worried about the batteries in their Roadster. Um, so we did a development on the Tesla Roadster battery um, and we managed to make a replacement of the Tesla Roadster battery. Uh, but we also did something else which is quite unique. We also changed the charging system. So it's really modern technology now and I will show you. So people who know the Tesla Roadster will notice there's no difference at all at the back. So as you see here, we, the complete replacement battery pack is inside the original casing and inside the original battery uh, of the Tesla Roadster. We made one change to the booth of the Roadster. We have put in a double floor because we needed the space uh, because we have mounted a second charging port. Uh, we decided to mount it here because it fits in very well uh, and you can keep the original charging port like it was. Um, as you notice it has standard type 2 AC charging port uh, so it will charge at any public start charging station in Europe uh, but we've also installed the CCS DC charging. Um, we're still doing some development on it and we are doing the testing. Uh, so far we did 43 kilowatts of DC charging which is already a nice improvement for the Roadster. It makes it a really nice daily car with this improvement. I would like to explain you a bit more about our design process because I think that's quite interesting. Um, as a start we looked at the original design. Um, as pr most people know there are 11 of these sheets installed in the battery pack um, and there are a lot of 18650 so there's really small laptop batteries inside. Um, so at first we thought well we have to make a copy of it. Uh, so we experimented with that a lot. Uh, we made molds, we made, so we even made a special cooling tube. Uh, and we experimented with the wire bonding. Uh, we bought an experimental wire bonding machine, all to make a copy of this. But at the end that resulted in a way too high cost of the battery pack. So then we decided why don't we use prismatic battery cells like we have in a lot of conversion projects we do. Um, so we made a design completely filling up the space of the 11 sheets of the brick um, and we've completely filled it up and we designed a new cooling system. So the battery cells are still water cooled and also with the cross flow water cooling system like in the original Tesla. So with the main advantage that you don't have a battery cell that's very cool in the beginning of the pack and still hot at the end. Um, in total we have 62 kilowatt hour of battery capacity and the total weight of the battery pack is the same as the 50 kilowatt hour of the original Tesla battery pack. However these prismatic cells have a much lower heat built up compared to the original Tesla battery cells. So, uh, so the cooling system is very sufficient for the battery pack we have designed so far. Also very nice to mention is that we didn't make any changes to the original casing of the battery pack. So that means you can take out all the 11 sheets, you can store them and, and keep them together with the investment of your Roadster um, and you can always replace them and put them back in your battery pack. We have not made any changes or holes or anything in the battery pack that you cannot reverse. Uh, so you can put in our battery pack uh, and, and always take it out and put the sheets back in. Thank you for watching. Please follow us for further updates on the Tesla Roadster or please email us at roadster at evyourup.eu.